Hi, my name is Rahim Siddiqui, and I am the uh, team leader for Group 11, and we are presenting Milestone 1 for Paddle for the Cure. And my group members are Alvaro, Maddie, Malina, and Jesse. So starting off with the agenda, just going to go over what this, um, really what the agenda is for the presentation. We're going to start off with target audience, and then we're going to go to social media exposure, and then SEO, website design, and then end off with newsletter. Thanks, Raheem. So we first wanted to highlight the target audience when discussing the following topics, such as social media exposure, search engine optimization, website design, and the newsletter. So the target audience is breast cancer survivors. 99% of people that get breast cancer are women. The usual age range is between 50 and 65, and the median age range is 63. So when it comes to social media exposure, the most commonly used social media within the target audience that was just described is Facebook, then YouTube, and then Instagram. When it comes to social media exposure, Paddle for the Cure is doing a great job when it comes to social media content. After doing an analysis of the socials, we found that the biggest conclusion is that there's a current lack of engagement within the social media, such as Facebook and Instagram. Thank you, Melina. My name is Alvaro, and I will be going over SEO recommendations and implementation. So as a reminder, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and it refers to the practice of optimizing a website and its content to increase the quality and quantity of organic unpaid traffic from search engines like Google. Thank you, Al. So going into website design, um, the uh, one thing we noticed on website design is the website does not maintain the same style, design, and fonts throughout the website. Um, so we re we do recommend um, getting some changes on that. And some other details to keep an eye on throughout the website are the spacing, website icons being the same style, and consistent head uh, headings and page titles. Thanks, Raheem. An additional element that we recommend to add is the newsletter opt-in feature on the home page. This is the most visited part of the site, so it's a good place to place this in order to maximize uh, the amount of people who opt in. Thanks, team. This is Maddie. So we're going to go over the newsletters. That's the first page. Um, the key here is to build a stronger connection between the future subscriber and the website. And that was our presentation. Thank you, everyone.